You know what time it is. Story time. So excited to be back with you this day with our new secret ingredient, our ingredient to mixing it up and to remember Jesus often. That's right, we're sticking with Jesus on this one. And it's from Luke 22, which appropriately is about a thing we do pretty often. Pretty often, probably, if you're a Prince of Peace or you're a Good Shepherd, we do this thing called communion, where we do the Lord's Supper, whatever you like to call it, the Eucharist. We gather around a table and we remember Jesus. So today's story goes back to that first Last Supper. But a really cool thing you may not know is that at the Last Supper, y'all remember it, there was Jesus here. And he was at his table, right? And at the table where he was probably sitting down, just having a nice sit and talking, just talking, you know, just. And he was sitting here having his last supper. Do you guys know what supper he was having? So remember our first one, we talked about, uh, early on, we talked about those festivals that they would celebrate to remember their time. Well, remember the one that they had when the Lord passed, when God passed over Egypt? And they had the flatbread, and they had a very specific recipe of foods they'd have, and um, vegetables they'd eat, and eggs they'd eat, all the specific things they were going to have. That was a festival that they would still be celebrating in Jesus' time, and the still celebrated today called Passover. And at the Passover, they would have their meal with all the items that traditionally is served at the Passover Seder, including some flatbread, including the wine, the little juice. There it is. Jesus would have had this meal with his disciples. And what he did was he was coming into town, as he, as he did, and everyone was coming into town for his last week, you know, before his crucifixion, the last few days. He came into town and he said, hey, guys, we got to get set up. Find us a place where we can honor and celebrate the Passover. We need to celebrate. We still have to remember who God is. We still need to give thanks. We still need to be generous and offer our thanksgiving. So they did all of the observances and all of them gathered together at the table. Here we are. I don't think I'm going to draw their faces because we'll be here for a long time, folks. But anyway, they're all sitting here, plus I'm sure some friends and well-wishers, other folks are there, folks who are helping with the meal. Everyone's there, and we're invited to that same meal every time we sit down and remember. At the Passover Seders, they remember God's provision, God's protection, God's love, God's deliverance of their people. They're remembering now Jesus saying, here's a new thing to remember, and I want you to remember this night where one of you will betray me, I'll be handed over to the authorities. It's going to be a tough night, a tough day tomorrow, but we're going to eat. It's just like Passover, right? They're preparing for the journey ahead. They're remembering God's provision in the midst of this. And Jesus, at the end of the supper, took bread. And he took the flat bread here. He broke it, and he gave thanks. And he gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take and eat. This is my body. It's given for you. And they're like, me? And he's like, yeah, you. And they're like, yeah, me? And he's like, yeah. And one of these other people are like, hi, we're just visiting. Is it me too? And he goes, yes, given for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this. Do this and remember this moment. Remember God's provision. Remember my love for you. Remember my teachings. Remember how I'm with you always. And they said, okay. And then he took the cup. He took the cup. There it is. He blessed it. He gave thanks. And then he gave it. He gave for all to drink. And they're like, can I have some? He goes, yes. And they go, what about me? He goes, yes, absolutely. And this guy's like, hi, I'm just, I'm new. Can I have one? He goes, yes, it's given for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. 
do this for the remembrance of me. Because this new covenant, you all know what a covenant is? It's a promise. This cup is the new covenant, and it's shed, made, broken, given for you in my blood for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. You may be wondering, is it for me? It is for you. It is absolutely for you. Because this table is very cool. This table, if you don't know, is an extension of that table. In the tables at your churches, wherever you are, wherever you gather, that table is set. And at that table, just imagine, right in the center of it, who's there? J-Man, Jesus is there. And every time we gather and break bread, every time we remember his sacrifice, every time we remember God's provision for us, every time we remember Jesus' teachings, we remember him and we remember him often. Because what we're doing is just like at the Passover feast, just like all the festivals that were observed, remembering who we are and who the one is who made us. Who we are, how we have the things we have, why we have breath in our lungs, why we have people who care about us, why we have food, why we have provision, why we have doctors, why we have caregivers, why we have teachers, because God has given us all these gifts and has provided for us. And as often as we eat of this bread, drink of this cup, we remember Jesus' greatest gift, love, forgiveness, resurrection, a promise that I am with you forever, and nothing separates us. So, today, as you guys enjoy your snack, as you hear your stories, as you guys make your cool crafts today, remember our key verse, remember Jesus often, because that's an important way of being a disciple and how we shake it up. Have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.